I just bought this wall hanging bike rack and I wanna show you everything. So I'm gonna unbox it first, show you all the contents that are in here, unpack it together. I'm gonna to show you how to install it and then I'm gonna hang a bike on it. I'm gonna talk about some of the things that I notice as I open up this bike rack as well. So I bought the four piece. There is a two piece available as well, I believe. It comes with all of the hardware, all of the mounting hardware for each rack. So in an individual package. So each rack, I'll come a little bit closer. We have four screws, two for the rack, two for the tire holder, some anchors that will work well if you're going into drywall, um, and then some plugs to cover over the screws so that you don't see the screws. I'm actually gonna use a different mounting setup. I'm gonna use some concrete screws because um, I'm, I'm putting it into cinder block, uh, but this is the standard hardware that it comes with. So I've got that, that. Here are the bottom tire holders. So those go into the wall like that to hold the tire in place, the bottom tire in place when you're swinging this thing. Then in here, we have four of the actual hangers. So let me show you this hanger. So basically here's your mounting plate on the back. It's super heavy duty, has two mounting holes on each end. Then you have this, I would call like the cradle for the front tire. So the tire's gonna, or it doesn't matter if the front or the back tire, but the tire's gonna go into that cradle. You can see that it's curved. So the tire will go in there. This will fold down like that, and then you'll hook the tire right in there. Now, one of the most common questions I saw on Amazon about this and had of myself is, will it scratch the rim of the tire? I just wanna show you how padded this thing is. I don't believe this could scratch the rim of the tire, but I haven't used it yet, so I don't know. Another cool feature of this bike rack that really sold me is its ability to rotate. So this thing can rotate, and uh, when, we get the, when we get it mounted on the wall and we hang the bike on it, then we can rotate the bike to the side so it'll kind of lay flat against the wall. That's a really cool feature. So listen up, this is, this is interesting. So people are asking if it rotates a full 40 or a full 180 degrees. It does not rotate a full 180 degrees. This way it gets pretty close, but this way we have this little, this little piece of metal right here that prevents it from going all the way over. So it is less than 180 degrees, uh, for those of you wondering. This thing already seems really, really well built. It's not too heavy, but it's definitely heavy enough to make you feel secure about having your bike on it. So, uh, so that's the rack. Let's see what else is in here. Full wall mounting instructions so that you can see exactly how to mount it. And it shows you, that's upside down. So full, full display or full instructions on how to mount the rack. That'll be helpful. That's the second rack. Let's see what's in here. So these are the plates for the second wheel down at the bottom. So you'd mount this to the wall. It's got two mounting holes. It doesn't have to hold any weight. It just, it just mounts so that you can hold that, that other tire in place so it doesn't swing back and forth. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure if I'll use these or not, but we'll see if the, if the swinging tire is a problem, then I'll use them, but if not, um, all right, so that's all the contents of the box. Of course, I have four of them, so there's four of everything in here. And now we're gonna actually hang the rack and take a look and see what it looks like. So, um, first things first is to mark our holes of where the rack's gonna go. So this rack is gonna go about right here. So I'm gonna hold it up there. You could use a level if you wanted to but I'm just gonna mark my holes that are close enough there and there because we're gonna pre-drill the holes. 
Now in my case, I've got a concrete drill because, uh, because I'm going into cinder block. So I'm just gonna pre-drill these holes. Okay, so now I've got two drill holes drilled. I'm gonna grab two of these concrete screws. Once again, you can use the screws that come with it. If you want to, I'm gonna use these concrete screws so that we make sure that we grip into that concrete nice and tight. Take the rack. All right, snug that up really nice. So I'm not gonna show it, but if I was doing the whole installation, I would show you that I'm gonna install the next one here, next one, next one, next one. All right, so now that I've got it installed, I'm gonna go ahead and hang a bike on it and I'll show you how it looks, how it works. So you just kind of hook the bike there. And it hangs just like that. Then what's cool is I can take this and I can fold them. Can also go, oh, pedal's in the way. Can also go that direction. So I'm excited. I'm gonna get the rest of these bike, these racks up and get the bikes up on them. And uh, I think they'll go really well. I think they're awesome. Um, they seem really sturdy. It's definitely not going to scratch the rim of the bike right there. And I wanted to show you how this looks now that I have all the bikes hung on them. So I've got four hangers, bikes at different heights. I hung this one lower because I wanted my younger kid to be able to get their own bike off the wall. But this is really cool. So they just swing out and you can take them off one by one that way. And it's really cool. So this is such, and then when they're folded in, man, it creates so much new room in the garage. It's incredible. I am so happy with these hangers. Oh, let me give you a profile view here. They're right there tied up against the wall. Hope you're as happy with these as I am.